guys, you're welcome to Relationships Q&A with Pastor Labi. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you're blessed. Today, I'm going to be answering another important question. Today, this question is actually bubbling in, in me. I, I couldn't wait to answer this question because people ask this question in anticipation. People ask this question for so many reasons. And then the question is, people ask, what if your parent does not agree with the person you're dating? In other words, as a guy, you're with a lady, but your parent don't want you to marry that lady, or vice versa. As a lady, you're with a guy, and your parent don't want to marry that guy. Maybe you're not from the same country, or you're not from the same tribe, or, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things. And, but you are Christian. You are born again. God has spoken to you. You are convinced. This is God's will for you. You are convinced. And some people, their parents are not even Christian. So, the, the the war is real. The war is life. It's just it's just you know it just it just it's just you know yeah. Uh, but some people their parents are Christian, so it's a bit they might say no today, but after a while they will say yes. If you know what I mean. But so I'm gonna deal with everything as one because it's all the same principle. Um, scripture says my foundational scripture is Ephesians chapter six verse one. Scripture says children obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right, honor thy father and the mother, which is the first command with a promise. But where I'm really going is, scripture says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. So the key word is, obey your parents according to scripture. Obey your parents according to the law of God. Obey your parents, obey your parents in the Lord. Okay? As a born-again Christian, you're with someone. And your parent does not agree, or one of them does not agree. Here is my stand on it. Okay, our parent is our parent. God has put our parent over us. Sometimes our parent they might be sincere. Like my senior pastor, Doctor Ezekiel, will always say that sometimes our parents are sincere, but they are sincerely wrong. Okay, our parents can be sincere, but they are probably saying what they are saying because of their past, because of what they've heard, or because of their experiences. So, so they've made up their mind that this, I will not allow my children, I will not allow my offspring, I will not allow my child to marry from this tribe, to marry from that tribe, based on what they've seen. But they fail to realize that we are in the 21st century. We are in the we are in the era that we have developed a capacity to understand the mind of God. So when God speaks to you concerning somebody and you go and meet your parents, you need to apply wisdom. Okay? Your parents might disagree. Don't fight them. Okay? I'm the kind of person, all my school daughters and my school sons knows that I will never encourage them to, to disobey their parents, to dishonor their mom or their dad. I am against that. Okay? So if you find yourself in this situation, you are convinced, both of you are convinced that this is God's will for you. Okay? But one parent is adamant and they keep saying no. You know what I'm going to tell you? Keep praying. You cannot fight your parents because from where I'm from, maybe Afro-Caribbean or Black American, from where I'm from, we want the blessings of our parents on our wedding day. There are some tribes that the blessing of their parents is not, is not that deep. But for us, we want our parents' blessing. So here is my, here is my take. You need to obey your parents. But obviously, you know what they are saying is wrong. Now, how do you go about it? You don't fight them. Okay? You don't fight them. You have to apply wisdom and pray that God speak to my parents. Okay, you can you can look you can speak to your pastor. Your pastor is a good one. Explain the things to your pastor and tell your pastor to go and meet your parents on your behalf. When two adults come together, even if your parents are Muslims, even if your parents are not unbelievers, even if they are not Christians, trust me, an elderly person knows how to speak to an elderly person and they can they can agree to disagree. Okay? You know, so speak, to, look for somebody, explain to them, okay, and let them go on your behalf to your parents, okay? Don't send your in-law because they will send a neutral person. As a lady, don't tell your mom or your dad to go and meet your, 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 your in-law and say, go and speak to them. No, 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 no. Make sure 
yeah, you find somebody neutral. I'll give you an ex I'll, I'll, I'll give you a story. A very good, good, good friend of mine was in a relationship for a few years. I think about three, four years. But this guy, both of them, they are godly. They they heard God expressly that they are meant for each other. It was so clear. But this lady, the parent refused. For so many years, the parent refused. And this guy, they, 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 they were patient. They kept praying. They kept trusting God. And could you believe it was, it was the, the lady's uncle, the lady's dad, right? The uncle visited one day. The uncle and the uncle asked the dad. The uncle is like an older uncle to the lady's father. I hope that makes sense. Okay? So let's say the lady, the dad, the dad has an uncle. All right? So the uncle visits the dad and was talking to the dad. Oh, this is your daughter. She's finished uni now. She has undergrad. She has master's. When, 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 will it get, when will she get married? And the dad said, oh, can you imagine she wants to marry this guy from this tribe? And they are saying all these things, all these things. And these two people don't, they are not, they are not religious like that. They are Christian, but they are not deep, deep like that, okay? And the uncle, the uncle who is like a big brother to the dad, spoke life to the dad. God used that man to speak to the father. And by the time they are done, you would think that the uncle and the, and the girl had met, but they, they, they haven't met in a long time. So God can use people. And that was why... That this was how the father of the lady just opened up and allowed the guy to marry the lady. All right. So one day the guy called me and said, Pastor Labi, I want to share a story with you. And he told me that, that his father in law called him on the phone and said, Fly down to where I am. He paid for his flight, paid for his hotel ticket, and everything. And the guy said, that, You want to marry my daughter? Are you sure and you're ready? Okay, that's it. Bang. In six months' time, you're going to get married. And that's it. The guy, the guy was like, am I dreaming? Okay? Prayer works. If you are convinced that the person you are with is God's will, but, they, but your in-laws are not, are not accepting, okay? They, they have a, a, a legitimate reason in quotes. You are not to understand. Maybe they have a pain in the past, past feelings, past thought. There will be things... There will be things. Don't fight them. Instead, pray more that God will open their eyes. Look for people that you can send to them. Oftentimes, when two people are in love and their parents disagree, they start fighting them. They'll say, we, we, we're going to run away. I'm going to kill myself. They'll start giving threats. Okay, Don't fight your parents because you need their blessing. Scripture says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. As long as what they are saying is in the Lord. Sometimes you are with somebody you think is God's will, but your parents who are pastors can tell you no. Not because they don't like the person, but because maybe they've prayed or they, they don't feel peace in their spirit. And they have to be honest with you. And scripture says we must honor them. We must obey our prayers in the Lord. That is the first command with a promise. Okay, so I'm really going to encourage you. If you are in a relationship and um, your, your, your in-laws are not in agreement with it, just, just hold on to God. Keep praying. In God's time, if it's really God's will, and both of you are, you have made up your mind, your focus, it will work out. It's a matter of time. Sometimes parents try to protect their children. Until you become a parent, you may not understand certain things your parents are doing. Okay? So don't fight them. Don't argue with them. Don't, 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 don't threaten to leave their house to do honor. Just pray. Just pray that God... You spoke to me about this guy. God, you spoke to me about this lady. And pray that God will convince your parent. If God can convince your mom, your mom will convince your dad. If God can convince your dad, God will, then your, your dad will convince your mom. Okay? Or look for an elder person in your family, a older person in your family, and go and speak to your parent. And I'm sure your, our parents want the best for us. Okay, sometimes in them wanting to bet for us, they can they can they can be they can be wrong with their approach. Okay, but they 
the, the in in the in in the inner part of them they meant good okay so because your parents are saying no to that person it doesn't make them evil don't see them as evil because scripture say they are they, they are like our gods on earth okay so because your parents are saying no adamantly saying no you don't need to scream you don't need to shout daddy i'm old enough i can make my decision you can't tell me you can't shoot pick pick to me who to marry how can you tell me not to marry her you don't can you call, all those things don't, you don't need to say all that just say that mom it's okay it's okay can you go and pray about it you know can you just tell them to go and pray about it tell them something positive you see one thing with our parents is they don't like you to challenge their authority especially parents from afro caribbean or black and black americans they don't like you to challenge their authority so don't say that why would you say that just say that mom i understand you but i think you should spend time to pray about this and let me know what you think okay and you will see that by the time they see your calmness they see it might take time i may be some of you it might even be worse okay but it it will take time you know you know tough times don't last tough people last okay i'm gonna say that again Tough time don't last, but tough tough people last. Okay, so just just hang on in there, wait on God, and I believe, I believe strongly in my spirit that that God will convince them when the time is right, and they will just come up one day, and you'll be like, wow, you just you just be bombazzled, you just be like, wow, I don't believe this, and that's what God can do. So I hope I've been able to answer that question disobeying or fighting your parent is not the solution the solution is to go back to god you can say god my parents are saying this speak to them on my behalf god can just raise somebody up who your parent respect and the person will talk to them and that might be end of the story okay thank you very much i hope this this video has clarified a few things has clarified the question of parent and relationship Okay, thank you very much for listening to me today. I hope I've been a blessing to you. Please do like, share, and drop a comment on my video. God bless you, and God bless me.